Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle two eighths from Helen Williams. I was actually going to do a different one, and this was at the top of the link. And I'm like, oh, well, this is cute. We'll do the we'll do the other one that's uh, below it. We'll do that another time. Um, this is super cute. All right, now let's see. I think I'm gonna. Well, let's see. <laughs> this is one of those where if I it seems like if I start at the top, that I don't have enough room at the bottom. But you know what? We'll just do the best we can. <laughs> oh, you know what? I, now I'm thinking maybe diagonal would be interesting. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that. So this from the name it's essentially doing two eights or you know figure eight whichever way you want to think about it or you could do it and you kind of know how to do that let me okay i'm gonna guess the center there eyeballing it you could also do two you know kind of tethered orbs uh, sort of it might be easier to just make an eight but it depends on how you do your eights, I suppose. I'm going to start this one from the middle. See, and sometimes I make, you know, if you're writing normal, sometimes I make them sloppy. They might be a little flat on the top. So I'm making an extra effort to go slow. All right. So you do one. And that, on my, um, yeah, on the step out, I did, you know, one like this and then the other. But I did make a note if you want to do it, you know, in one stroke. One stroke or two up to you. All right. Now we're going to make a chain of these. And for that, I'm starting at the top here. And doing my best to kind of keep it sort of even. Look at it. I can fit two nicely there. Let's see. Can I do the same on this side? Drum roll. Sometimes I swear I think that's what I need because it's like, oh, the drama. Can she do it? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Now, here's what's super interesting. Even though and I'm looking at this going, yeah, I got several that are kind of wonky. That first one was pretty darn good. But this is another of the many where it doesn't really matter. All right. So then we're going to do it the opposite direction and this you know well I don't know how I want to do it. I'm going to I'm going to start it right here in the middle because that's what I like to do so here and I'm going to start my figure eight or, or you could like you could do like that and then you could do like this again completely up to you now good to keep uh, an idea of where the middle of that is or just think okay I've done it here skip one because once they're kind of all in a line, you you lose track of, you know, of where the center is, sort of. I mean, you can you can tell if you look, right? Okay. So then we're just going to continue to do these. And what's nice is, you know, we're kind of tracing over uh, the center pieces. So like this one, that's good. That one is kind of weird. So if I do it, tracing over that, and then we trace over this, and even though that one is a little bit bigger than the others, it doesn't matter, right? And then by the time we fill this up, you know, it's all good. Now, what's neat about this one is you could make it a border if you wanted to, or you could make it a fill in. and. Oh, I'm going to debate on what I want to do. I'm going to make a cross, I think, first. Oh, we'll probably do a fill-in just because that's fun. But I'm going to start here at the center. And so then you're just going to do another row. Or, honestly, however you want to do it. Because you could just have it grow however you want it to grow. It's up to you. All right, so I'm going to start here. <laughs> it's going to be a fill-in because... This is not lining up this way, but that's okay. Oh, see what I can do. Like I'll aim it a little bit. Oh, see like that. Okay. All right. 
And then, well, you know what? Mm, no, I'm going to go ahead. Let's, let's see. I'm going to do one more here because that's what will fit. And if you try to keep them similar size, it's helpful. Because then, and this is where I, I did get a little nervous when I was doing it. I'm like, oh my goodness, okay. These are, this is like a, like a puzzle piece. We're going to have to see if we can fit it in. And so what I decided, well, number one was to just put the thoughts of worry out of my head. But then two, was like, okay, no, nope, it's all good. I'm going to start right here. And then I'm going to aim for about midway, right? So here's the first bit. Here's the second bit and if it's a little over a little under the halfway mark it's not going to matter because when you do the next one you just have it meet up wherever it's at and it'll be fine <laughs> look at that one that's funny all right let's see how good can we rescue this one this will be the this will be the test of this tangle uh you wouldn't even know All right. I did I need to flip that all the way around? I don't think I did. It's such a it's such a habit. You know, and what's neat is it it's such a whimsical looking tangle. That's what lends itself to the it just doesn't matter kind of thing. Now, you you know, something I could have done is I could have made this a little larger and let's say how about it behind that one. That's always an option. But I kind of like how this has turned out just like that. All right. And that's it. Except that you, you then get to play. All right. And one way that I'm going to play is we'll put uh, some wispy lines coming out of the center. You know, two or three. And I'm, I'm going to do the do it uh, these up and down. I tried doing it side to side. It just it just doesn't work for me. I can do wispy, you know, it's like a flick of the wrist a little bit, and I can do it up and down, but not necessarily the other way. And look at already that it just makes such a difference. thinking on that smaller one I probably could have just done two but yeah all right and in the sam oh yeah in um Helen's sample and, and do take a look at the for more inspiration link uh and she says that she uh used a uh a white gel pen and put a dot in the center. So after all of this is done, that's kind of neat. And I'm guessing that might be what led to the, um, what is it called? Um, to the next pattern that is, oh, pebble flowers. Um, oh, and I also like, she just, she also did a, a line and a dot, but I've already done this, so I'm not going to do that. And I think I kind of, well, I don't know. I guess I was just in the mood for this versus just, you know, a line and a dot. I don't know. It, you know, it's a, it, yeah, I think it's a mood thing. Now, line, dot, dot, I'm always in the mood for. And for some reason, yeah, for this one, that uh, it, this was calling to me more. And I was thinking, okay, there's there's stuff that we could do behind these. So you could do, um, like in Helen's sample, she did some, you know, straight lines all the way through. That's a lot. I kind of, I don't know, I kind of like it like this. I'm not sure. Could put some therefores or some dot balls. Maybe I'll do that because that would look kind of neat. But there we go. First, though, 
let's put a little just a little ball of graphite I'm not gonna do the the dotting the white in there I kind of like it this way but I'm just putting a little bit of graphite in the center and then we'll spread it out in all directions Like that and see how it just it makes that touch of a difference now if you did them bigger I suppose you could probably you know fit some on uh, some graphite on the other end maybe to, to make it look um, you know bendy is my technical term for that <laughs> um, but let's ah, here's a okay 10 apparently is what I have handy but it's just it's just cute oh a couple other things oh let's do this instead oops what is that that's my pan I don't want that because here is something we could aura the center and well let's start with that and i'm just kind of care semi carefully working you know to get each little curve in there and 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 to follow the contour it's not it's not so bad some of the ones where i have just a little teeny petals it's like well golly like right there it's barely a curve line That's cute, and so why not? No, okay, I'm gonna do that and then decide if I want to connect them. You love how I have one I had one idea and then quickly changed it to something else. <laughs> Oh, I kind of like it. I still could put the, you know, something in the background if we wanted to. There is something magical about the aura that just finishes things off. And it's one of those things, too, where maybe, okay, let's take a look. You know, maybe try not to get stressed out over it you know if you just go don't go slow that that will certainly help okay i still think i'm gonna put i'm gonna put some therefores oh let's use the pn that's a little smaller and that's therefore i do have a step out for it if you <laughs> if you need What I find sometimes difficult is is having it be random. Well, and I do like to think everything needs a step out. So. Well, and if nothing else, just to give proper credit to... Um, creator of the tangle and that is for this it is an, um for therefore it is Zen tangle but look at how they just peppering that around it just makes a little bit of a difference it's neat i like it all right and i hope you did too and if you did please click on the like button and if you liked it enough to see more, I'm deciding if I wanted to do anything else. Um, if you liked it enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. The, in the description section, I mentioned links to the step outs. And I always do my own version and then link to the creator of the tangle. Um, then below that is my link tree where you will find ways to connect with me, other resources, um, 
I do have some uh, some shopping links, uh, some affiliate uh, accounts. Uh, so you will find that there. I have a new one and um, would just love to check out. I have a new one. It's Amazon and um, I'm working on adding more stuff. So, you know, oh, heck, if you have suggestions, feel free to leave it in the chat. Um, but just, you know, for supplies and things like that. So um, also, if you are interested in tangling with me and a bunch of other uh, crazy tangle addicts, you can come and join us on Thursdays. <laughs> um, I think it's in September, there is just one Thursday that I'm going to have to shift. And then well, I'll have to look forward to the, uh, the holidays. But for the most part, uh, it's always on Thursday. It's called Tangle Time. I'll pick a tangle or two, and we just have fun with it. Could have been something like this. Um, and you'll see some of the the videos that I do where I have other. Uh, you, there's usually um, you know more tangles. I always show what we did in in the sessions um, afterwards. But you'll see those, and then I I've been um, putting the replays up so you can experience it. You know uh, on the replay, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, just amazing, amazing work that everybody does. And um, so come and join us sometime. It's free. Did I mention that? It's free. All right. I do have some other ones that, um, you know, uh, have a fee to them. I also have a membership club if you're interested in something like that. All the information is on the link tree. If you want to follow me for classes, um, I have one link there. That it's also on my website and on Facebook. I don't have it specifically I don't think I, no, I, I remember thinking I was going to add something. Uh, I don't have anything specifically saying, oh, follow, you know, like my page on Facebook and that way you can, you know, get notices of the classes, but just know that you can. Also, and lastly, we have um, oh, just a fun Tangle Addicts community group on Facebook. So if you'd like to join us there, click the link. There are four questions you have to answer in order to gain entry and that's it. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.